Kendall Jenner is no stranger to being on the cover of Vogue magazine and has also appeared in their infamous 73 Questions video, but this time she's back with a twist. Kinda. The video is titled I Kendall, where she is seen in a hotel room brushing her teeth and putting on her makeup whilst answering existential questions. Ones like who invented modelling and how many hairs are in one eyebrow. But one question in particular has actually got us all thinking. She asked, what happens to the holes in Cheerios? Do they get thrown away? Funny you should ask that, Kendall, as we might just have the answer for you. A spokesperson for General Mills has put our minds to rest. He said, once the dough for Cheerios is mixed, it goes through a die cut where it comes out as the iconic looking oak. The best part of this cooking process is that there is not any dough wasted. Although there wasn't any more info being disclosed about this Cheerios saga, we assume that the dough being cut to make the holes just keeps on getting used to make even more Cheerios. Thanks for asking that all-important question, Kendall. Now that's one less thing we have to worry about. X on the Beach smashes onto our screen tonight with more Raggies than a Ryanair check-in queue. Get ready for eight sexy singletons dream holiday to turn into an epic nightmare as angry ex-lovers arrive on the beach with a mission to mess with their exes. And because we're not about that chill life, here's an exclusive spoiler from tonight's episode with Marnie Simpson. Hi. Hi. Is that Marnie from Geordie Shaw? Marnie, <laughs> yeah. tell me, best swimming trunks? Um, oh, I've got to call for them. <laughs> Listen, I'm agreeing, I'm agreeing. How could you not? I just feel like with your tan line, you took a, a <sighs> chance. I'll take a chance. Who the f comes to a beach to meet girls looking for love with blue f***ing speedos on? What's wrong with them? Will our last find love or will Marnes be reunited with an unwanted ex from her dating dark days? There's only one way to find out. No, not Google. Cancel your plans and tune in to X on the Beach tonight at 10pm on MTV. It's Naked Tuesday and everyone's getting naked, so cool. I'm, I'm going to join in. Oh, okay, fine, I'll keep them off. Louisa Johnson just stripped down to her bra and knickers during a meeting with boardroom execs at Psycho. Watch out for the sandwich platter. Lou says she went mental and ripped all her clothes off after hearing her new song for the first time, and boss Simon Cowell thought it was hysterical. Megan McKenna's at it too. The TOWIE star is taking part in ITV's The Real Full Monty Ladies' Night to raise awareness for breast cancer later this year. And Megan's Celebrity Big Brother co-star Jeremy McConnell is also getting his kit off. Jeremy the first star to sign up for a one-off Stand Up To Cancer special of Naked Attraction. If you've not seen the show, we'll basically get to see Jeremy's tackle. Okay, shall I get naked now? Uh, okay, fine. Whatever, whatever you want. Selena Gomez breaks down the beauty myth after bikini pictures surface of her on the internet. The star was photographed catching some rays in Australia recently and the pigs ignited troll-heavy conversations about Selena's body and visible scars from her kidney transplant last year. To hear back at Trolls, the pop star posted a video to Instagram showing her time spent on the boat, laughing with friends and even recreating the iconic Titanic scene. The video was accompanied by this message, the beauty myth, an obsession with physical perfection that traps modern women in an endless cycle of hopelessness, self-consciousness and self-hatred as she tries to fulfill society's impossible definition of flawless beauty. I chose to take care of myself because I want to, not to prove anything to anyone. With her post, the Gomez is letting us all know that self-love and good health is the most important thing. You tell them, Selena. The world's last surviving male northern white rhino has died. Sudan, who was 45, lived at the O.L. Pajita Conservancy in Kenya, was put to sleep on March 19th after age-related complications worsened significantly. O.L. Pajita's CEO posted a statement saying, We are all saddened by Sudan's death. He was a great ambassador for his species and will be remembered for the work he did to raise awareness globally for the plight of facing not only rhinos, but also the many thousands of other species facing extinction as a result of unsustainable human activity. One day his demise will hopefully be seen as a seminal moment for conservationists worldwide. Sudan even joined Tinder last year as the zoo tried to raise awareness about his threatened species and raise money for reproductive research. His loss leaves just two female white rhinos left on the planet, his daughter Najin and granddaughter Fatu. The other male northern white rhino, Sunni, died of natural causes in 2014. The only hope for the preservation of these subspecies now lies in developing IVF techniques using eggs from the two remaining females, stored northern white rhino semen from males and surrogate southern white rhino females. News of the world the last male white rhino has travelled far.
Welcome to your daily roundup of One Direction news. First up, we have Zayn undergoing the classic post breakup move. He's debuted a brand new bleach blonde hairdo and a beard. He has, however, decided to keep the eyebrows dark, maybe a sign that there's still a little part of his heart left in the relationship. Or maybe he just likes the whole zebra look. I have no Next up, Harry Styles is paying tribute to his ex by referencing a Taylor Swift song at his latest gig. When wishing a concert go a happy birthday, he said, 22, she's 22, okay. I don't know about... Unfortunately, he stopped singing Taylor's banger 22 halfway through. Gosh, what is it with these One Directioners and their inability to commit to the whole thing? And on that note, Liam has updated us on his relationship with Cheryl, admitting in a new interview that they've had their struggles. I'm not going to sit here and say that everything's absolutely fine and dandy, he said. Of course, you go through different things, and that's that's what a relationship is. But we go through them together as a family and that's the most important thing. I was going to update you on Louis and Niall but I'm following the other direction as leads and stopping halfway through. The school where a shooting took place in February that left 17 people dead will now require all students to wear clear backpacks. Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School will give out bags at no cost to anyone who doesn't have one. While it's good to see the safety and preventative measures being amped up, a lot of people are pointing out that clear backpacks aren't necessarily the answer. One Twitter user said, if I was in high school, I would not be for it. Sorry, but what about when girls have to carry pads or tampons, or when kids get their money slash items stolen because it's made visible to everyone? Another added, do you want every Everyone to see your tampons, medications, makeup, condoms, snacks? No. And neither do kids. They are entitled to privacy too. That's the thing. Clear backpacks present a whole raft of other problems. You don't necessarily want your schoolmates and your teachers knowing that you're on your period, that you're taking medication for, say, mental health reasons, or that you carry around an emotional support teddy. Some may say it's a small price to pay in return for everyone's safety, but there's no guarantee that clear backpacks will solve the problem. There are other places to hide a gun. As one Twitter user said, enforcing students to wear clear backpacks is simply like putting a band-aid on a broken bone. At the end of the day, there's one main proven way to lower gun violence, gun control. According to Justin Bieber's new Instagram post, there's a new trend in town. You heard it here first, pimples are in. Goodness me, I hope he's right. It's true. In an extremely bold Instagram story, Bean Boy proudly showed off his big famous forehead and its pimples to his 98 million followers, going so far as pointing at them with his big famous finger. He captioned it, pimples are in. This is just fantastic news. I can't wait to see what's going to be in next. Hopefully skinny arms and a pot belly. He could be onto something here though, with other high profile celebrities echoing the message. Here we have a smiling Miley showing off her skin treatment. Ashley Benson showing us splodges of concealer all over her face, a Camilla Cabello cheek pimple on Twitter and even some Lord pimples on Instagram. Let's hope this lot are ushering in a new age of pimple pride for the acne army. And until then, we'll keep our eyes peeled and let you know if we spot any more. Spot. Nice work. Liam Payne admitted his baby son Bear's arrival caused a massive explosion in his relationship with Cheryl. The music and child making machine told ES Magazine that he is still picking up the pieces after the birth of little baby Bear, who just turned one. Happy birthday baby Bear. He explained, It's all weird, so why would my relationship ever blend into what society thinks anyway? Because the whole of my life is nuts. So it's just putting all of that bag of nutsness together and making it work. Alright mate, we all know where babies come from. Disgusting. I don't quite understand why they're going through these struggles. A source close to the couple says, Cheryl is furious. She isn't a fan of putting her personal life out there, and if it had been her choice, Liam wouldn't have said anything at all. Cheryl wishes he hadn't put everything about their problems out there. She knew he talked about their relationship in the chat, but the reaction to the interview has really upset her. Okay, I think I now understand why they are going through these struggles. But don't fret, every relationship's gonna have its trials. It's just how those trials are dealt with which define which direction it goes in. Liam rounds off the interview by saying, but we go through our struggles together as a family and that's the most important thing for me. Absolutely saved it. Here's why Fifth Harmony are probably never ever getting back together. I'm tearing up. Welcome to MTV's History of the Hiatus. Okay, to be real, we're still not over One Direction. The boys announced their infamous one year hiatus back in August 2015. Three number one solo albums, one movie, and a cringe hip flop performance in front of Prince Harry and Meghan later. And it looks like the boys are defo dunzo. And One Direction aren't the only ones to say break when they really mean break up. LMFAO, NSYNC, The Wanted, and Selena Gomez and The Scene all went on a hiatus to focus on 
other projects, but has anyone seen the scene since the guys hit the lights? In 2002, Destiny's Child announced a hiatus to pursue personal projects. Be right back, Beyonce's taking over the world. So will Ali, Dina Jane, Lauren, Normani, and maybe even Camille ever get back together one day, or is this just all lies? Whatever happens, we're excited to see what's next for the girls, and P.S., we're totally fine if LMFAO were lying. Lycra is so 2008. Dua Lipa and Calvin Harris look set to drop a collaboration. Or should I say, a duet. <laughs> In the past couple of months, she's won some Brit Awards, started working on her second album, cracked America like an egg, smashed the charts with her song New Rules, and is well on her way to doing it again with her new song IDGAF, which I'm told stands for, oh my god, never mind. When you scan the QR code in Calvin's Twitter header, you literally get the words Calvin Harris and Dua Lipa, one kiss. Fantastic bit of marketing, because you can only find this if you're observant, resourceful, and extremely bored. The rumor is that they will release one kiss tomorrow, and honestly, I really hope they do. Uh. <laughs>